place for the Cardinals if you always tired like this. You know what the St. Louis Cardinals need is pitching. Because he's smitten. He's all right. But if you can meet somebody else, I mean, that guy is up all the time just playing the game. You'll never be able to play. Good morning, people. Aww. Aww. Hey. It's 7.28 a.m. and I see no lunch bags. And the school bus is coming down the street. Don't worry, Anna. We'll make the bus. Right, guys? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. to the Department of Children's Services. I'm Gordon Ormsby, supervisor. Have you read our book of rules and regulations? I've glanced at it. Glancing won't do. Memorize it. Embrace it. Live it. <laughs> this is your first case. Would you like some background? Please. Case number 579-B87. The Jericho family. Sir, that chair... Excuse me. Was I done? <laughs> Just under a year ago, Jared and Jasmine Jericho were killed in an automobile accident, leaving seven children, ranging in age from 20 down to 14 months. Oh, how sad. Well, what's sad is that this case took so long to come to our attention. Maybe it just fell through the cracks. I don't allow cracks. When people talk about Gordon Ormsby, they say, now there goes a man without cracks. Uh, who's been taking care of these kids? The oldest son. No relatives have stepped forward. Your job is to find them a proper guardian. I'll pop in on you in the field from time to time, so stay on your toes. Sir, what if I can't find a guardian for these kids? Then go buy the book, Miss Michaels. That's what it's for. Mr. Ormsby, to me, kindness and compassion are far more important than going by the book. Hello? Hi. 
Are you Joshua Jericho? I hope so. I've been opening his mail. <laughs> I'm Alana Michaels from the Department of Children's Services. Hmm. Can I come in? Sure, come in. So what's up? Well, Joshua, it's come to our attention. <laughs> Now. I'm Alana Michaels from the Department of Children's Services. Hey, we don't need the Department of Children. Yeah, we got too many kids already. <laughs> Seven of you. And like Uncle Stanley would say, look at you. Y'all have got so big. Look at how big you have got. You must be eating starch. You know starch is blowing you right up. <laughs> The kids like it when I imitate Uncle Stanley. Oh. I can do a good Cosby, too. You want to hear it? What you talking about, yellow man? <laughs> okay, so, let's see. Um, you must be, uh, Jesse. I, I'm Jesse. I'm Jimmy. Gifted athlete, musical genius, and, uh, Stone Cold Mac. <laughs> I'm Jack, and yesterday I dropped the ball of all in the toilet. Ooh. Why? Because I couldn't lift it off. <laughs> Are you... Jai? Yeah, that's me. I love that outfit. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Thanks. I made it myself. I'm Jordy. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, would you like to buy a hairball? They're handmade by gifted artist. Uh, me. Oh, it's beautiful. How much? A thousand dollars. Ooh. Sorry. Man, if I could just sell one. <laughs> Tell you what, lady. For you, five bucks. Honey, can you sit down for a second? First of all, let me say that I'm very, very sorry about your parents. Thanks. We miss them a lot. Josh, do you have a job? Yeah, I manage a restaurant. And I'm also a writer. I write stories and articles for magazines. I got a paper route. I do yard work. And I babysit for the neighbors. Josh, according to our regulations, your family needs an adult guardian. So let's put on our thinking caps and come up with somebody. Now, what about this, um, this Uncle Stanley you were talking about? No, nah, he wouldn't be a good choice. He suffers from multiple personality disorder. Oh, well, um, I see you have an Uncle Dwight, an Uncle Milton, and an Uncle Vernon. Well, can one of them help? No, those are all Uncle Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? Our Aunt Jelcinda in Memphis. But, Miss Michaels, none of this matters anyway. Why not? Because in a few months, I'll be 21. I'll be legal. Mm, sorry, Josh. Age is not the sole determining factor in these cases. So what are you saying? Without a relative to assume custody, I'm afraid your family will have to be split up. If they get any longer, they'll be dragging on the floor. Josh, we gotta talk about what that lady said today. Yeah. She wants to split us up. Ship us off to foster homes. Yeah, and I don't even know the fosters. <laughs> Who makes these rules? Some upright, uptight, paper-pushing, Twinkie-eating, jerk in a three-piece suit's gonna decide where my family goes? Uh-uh. I don't think so. Josh? Yeah, Josh? 